How are you guys doing? You guys ever hear about a radiant ceiling? So it's completely hydronic. We just run hot or cold water through it to heat or cool your environment. Uh, typically, we generate that hot or cold water with a unit you see behind you, like an air to water heat pump, depending on your region. So some people use boilers for heating, chillers, but we just use hot or cold water to heat or cool. We go for about 70% ceiling coverage to meet cooling loads, while heating loads are meant at about 40% ceiling coverage. But yeah, it's mounted 24 inches on center. So you just break off this EPS edge, and then it exposes this wing right here, and this is what's stapled or screwed up to your ceiling joists or furring channels. And then they just push together, really easy to disconnect. Installers love them, they're super light. You guys can, you know, just EPS foam, an aluminum plate, um, some piping. Yeah, and then the only reason we can do radiant cooling is because we had to develop sensors which can monitor the dew point when condensation would form. Because the big fear is if it gets too cold, you'll have condensation forming. We can't have that. Uh, so we made sensors to monitor the dew point as well as indoor air quality and several other things. But then our controls can regulate the temperature of the panels, make sure that they never fall below the dew point. We never produce condensation, but they can also activate forms of dehumidification with air treatment units to lower the dew point, let us use colder water so we can increase cooling output. Heating's easy, but Cooling's the hard part, so we had to develop all this to make sure we can do radiant cooling. Give me a car, of course.